we found the chamber veiled, not touched by wind nor rain nor age, a form that wasn't weathered, wasn't ground by stage. It bore no scrape of roots, no soot from fire's reach, no mark of beast nor tremor's hand, nor sea's long speech, a hollow made by neither frost nor flame nor flood, and still we felt it pulse beneath our shoes like blood. This was not chance, nor crust's decay, nor time's collapse. The void itself had chosen where to lay its traps. Our probes returned no flaws, no joins, no drills, no weld. Yet every angle knew the mind that silence held. We found the twelve, not laid by beast, nor wind, nor war, their bones arranged too meaningful to be folklore. No scavenger had touched them, though the decades grew. Their postures formed a syntax that our data knew. Not burial, not sacrifice, not death at all. Their stillness spoke and answered every shallow call. No grave had shaped them, no descent of silt or soot. And yet their calcined forms had grown into the root. The readings pulsed. No heat, no rot, no cellular decay, but in the gaps between the ribs we saw delay. We found the canal, its bed too pure to bear a stream, not gouged by tool, nor smoothed by drought, nor warped by dream. It had no purpose that a civil tongue could name, not trade, nor waste, nor death, nor ceremonial claim. We walked its spine, and every footstep felt received, as if the ground recalled what centuries believed. It turned not with the land, nor followed ridge or fall. It kept a line that bent the very feel of all. And when we stopped, we found our pulse was out of sync. The world had changed, but only subtly, like a blink. We could not say it was not art, nor myth, nor code, but every symbol echoed something deep and old. The murals shimmered, not with pigment, brush, or heat, but with a kind of silence far too loud to meet. They did not speak, but something in the way they waited suggested we had crossed a line long calibrated. The jaguar did not prowl, nor strike, nor cry. It watched as if it knew which one of us would lie. The serpent curled, not drawn by cult, nor traced in tail, but in a spiral only logic could unveil. We could not name the fear, not madness, hunger, sleep, but something pressed against our minds from far too deep, not in hallucination nor in dream state born, but in the logic we had used since we were torn. Each vector, each alignment, each recursive form returned again, but now beneath a different storm. The cave was not a place, but proof or lens or test, and we had walked too far to guess or joke or rest. We are not leaving, though no wall impedes our path. We are aligned now, folded in the cave's own math.